this is Kenny Lee Burgess and I'm doing this video for my friends that build Cigar Box guitars on Cigar Box Nation. Now I'm strictly a player, I'm not a builder, but considering that form always follows function, you might want to think about how you're going to design your guitar from a musical standpoint. Now a standard six string guitar is tuned from low to high E, A, D, G, B, E. And this is actually a compromise that developed over time so that you can play the guitar in all 13 different keys. But there's actually an older method of tuning the guitar called open tuning. This is where the guitar is tuned so when you strum it, it sounds more melodic and it just plays a chord. So the first thing we have to understand is what is a chord and how does it relate to the major scale. Most people are familiar with the major scale. If you sing it, it sounds like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. To make it easier, these notes are numbered 1 through 8. That's an octave. It starts on do and moves up through the scale and ends on do, which is actually the same note but double the frequency. Now a chord is defined by playing three tones at the same time. So to make a major chord, you need the 1, the 3, and the 5. So a D chord is made up of D, F sharp, and A, a G chord, G, B, and D, and a C chord, C, F, and G. Now here's a chart that's very easy to find. It shows the eight notes of the major scale in all 13 different keys. So regardless of what note you'd like to start on, you could find the 1, 3, and 5. There are three basic open tunings. Vastapole, which is commonly played in the key of D, Spanish, which is commonly played in the key of G, and open C, which oddly doesn't have a name. Now considering we only need three tones to make a chord, you'll see that in open tuning on a six string, you have multiple notes. So for instance, in Spanish tuning, from low to high, I have D, G, D, G, B, D. Or in numbers, that would be 5, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5. So I end up with 3 Ds, 2 Gs, and 1 B. So you can see it's very easy to kind of micronize this into a 3 or 4 string instrument. So for instance, one way you can approach it is just use some bass strings. So here I'm using strings 5, 4, and 3. Number-wise, that would be intervals of 1, 5, 1, and it's kind of like a little bass instrument. Or you can take three of the treble strings, and that would be, say, for instance, strings 3, 2, 1, which would be, uh, number-wise in intervals, would be 1, 3, 5, and you can have like a little lead instrument. So here's a chart showing the three basic open tunings, Vastapool, Spanish, and Open C. So you can see that it's showing how the three tones are organized from low to high on a six string standard guitar. Now there is a relationship between these three basic open tunings. So if you watch my Series 3 instructional lessons, uh, it'll help you understand this. So there is a method behind this madness. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is a way how you can micronize this down into a three or four string cigar box guitar. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hello, would you like to learn how to play bottleneck slide guitar or how to play cigar box guitar? For only $9.99 plus shipping and handling, you too can unlock the secrets of the Delta Blues Masters. Also available, my music CD, Good and Evil. And now, back to our program. Welcome back. This first chart is showing you two examples of how you can use the low bass strings of a guitar to make your cigar box guitar. The first example is in the key of G, the second is the key of D. So the first line is showing you the interval, 1-5-1, one, one, and then G, D, G, how you would tune the cigar box guitar. The second line is showing you A, D, G. That would be the strings that you would use from a standard pack of guitar strings. 
Now, if you build a guitar that has about a standard scale length of about 23 inches, you can use a medium pack of strings. They usually run from about a 13 to a 56. But just understand that if the strings are too loose or too tight, you just need to adjust the gauges because you want the right string tension so your guitar rings correctly. In this next chart are two examples how to build a higher pitched guitar, key of G and key of D. Now what's really cool about this, if you build two guitars, one high and one low, and you play one, and a friend plays the other, considering that they're tuned different, you're going to have to play different things. And also they'll be pitched different. So you should be able to come up with some really interesting ideas. Now chart three offers two possibilities how to set up a four string cigar box guitar using Spanish and Vasta pole tuning. One thing to note is the very uniqueness of these two tunings. In Spanish tuning, it has the five on the bottom and the top at the same time, where Vastapool has the one on the bottom and the top at the same time. This offers a, a lot of interesting ideas how you arrange a song. And finally, in the last chart, shows an example how you could build a four-string cigar box guitar and split open C right in half. The first example would be for a lower-pitched guitar, and the second example would be for a higher-pitched guitar. And again, if you had two guitars, one low, one high, Together, they sound really cool. Just some final thoughts. We certainly just looked at the tip of the iceberg discussing the three basic tunings. So also consider you can just very simply tune down the major third, and then you can have all kinds of minor tunings. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it opened up ideas uh, for all the possibilities that you can do with a cigar box guitar. And the nice thing about kind of utilizing Spanish or Vastable tuning, there's already a wide variety of music available on these open tunings. So you could very easily learn how to micronize a six string song down to a three string instrument if you understand the idea of the intervals and how it's tuned to the major chord. So take care. Thanks a lot.